Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Milligan. I'm here with Dr. David Singh of Portland, Oregon, orthodontic professor. David, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for inviting me. Now, David, you have a wonderful service that you teach dentists how to provide. Mm -hmm. And who will this benefit? Who is this for, the service that you show dentists what, how, how to provide it? Well, it's for a very broad range of patients. And it could be for adult patients, it could be for teenagers, it could be for younger children. Right. And it's a very probably about eighty five percent of the population. It's a large proportion of the population. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and those patients come come from different backgrounds. They may have orthodontic concerns such as the teeth are not quite straight. Okay. They may have, you know, issues such as headaches or TMJ issues. Okay. Or there may be patients who have sleep and breathing issues. Okay. So it's quite a broad range of patients. Cosmetic patients as well. Absolutely. Right. And people who are interested in a non-surgical, non-invasive way of improving facial appearance, facial symmetry. Gummy smile. Absolutely. Okay. That's another good group. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what does this all stem from? Too small of, of jaws, right? Or, or jaws in the wrong position. Correct. So the face mm -hmm. hasn't fully developed. Right. The jaw's not well developed. The teeth not well aligned. And so, misalignment of the jaws and teeth, okay, and actually body posture as well, it all comes into the equation. Right. That's where all of this kind of stems from. So why is it so important to treat these things, the sleep apnea that you mentioned, the TMD, the, 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 the size of the jaws and the alignment of the teeth? Why is it so important to treat this? It's very important because there's a continuing a relationship between oral health and systemic body health. Right. So if we've got stuff going on inside the mouth, that's going to reflect in other parts of the body. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you've got small jaws and a small airway, it means that your sleep will be disrupted, right. which means that your bodily functions will be affected over a long period of time. If you're not getting the oxygen that you need at night, Correct. it affects everything, your Correct. heart, uh, through, uh, all the way through. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And some kind of serious conditions like hypertension, possibly strokes, mm -hmm. you know, diabetes, those kind of things, they're all directly or indirectly related to sleep apnea. So if we can address the sleep and breathing issues at their root level, mm -hmm. the chances are we're going to give you a healthier and a happier life. Right. And the T TMD problems, that's obvious. If you're having discomfort in your joints and this therapy helps, well, then that's a wonderful thing for the patient. Correct. So people who are bruxing, clenching, grinding, mm -hmm. they actually may do that at sleep. And when they wake up in the morning, they've got a headache, they've got jaw pain. And so we want to resolve those kind of conditions as well. What type of thing tips the dentist off as they're doing the exam that, that you may need this therapy? Too small of an upper jaw? Crooked teeth? Correct. All of the above. Um, and of course, dentists will look for other signs and symptoms. And they'll do a, maybe a sleep questionnaire with you. They'll ask you any history of snoring. You know, are there any you know, other signs like teeth being worn away? Right. All of these kind of signs, when you add them together. Teeth. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tongue position, uh, scalloping on the tongue. Correct. Many Correct. different things the dentist can look for to trigger. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a further examination for this type of treatment. Correct. Why is this so prevalent today? Well, it's a really good question. Um, the human genome hasn't changed for uh, thousands of years. Right. But the conditions in which we live and work these days has changed dramatically. We've changed our food, we've changed our diet, we've changed the way we live. All of these things impact the way we grow and develop. And that is having a serious impact on our overall health. Right from the start, the, the way you might lay the baby in bed. Uh, Correct. The, uh, pacifier. Right. Uh, bottle feeding. Correct. Pollution. Absolutely. All these things can impact. Correct. And cause these problems in, in the people. And that's why it's so prevalent with 85% of the people today. I think so. You know, if you go back, you know, several hundred years, every ba baby was exclusively breastfed. Right. That nursing has stopped or it's been reduced. And therefore, you know, these uh, conditions start very early on in childhood and go throughout the life of the individual. Right, yeah. So what's the best time to treat? Um, the sooner the better. As soon as we know that something's going on, the longer you leave it, the harder it gets. You bet. And so, hey, we've got a small problem, let's get that controlled, uh, addressed, until it becomes, you know, a bigger problem. Right. And so there's no harm because we're doing a non-invasive procedure. There's no drugs, no injections. It's a pain-free procedure. 
So we want to help people early on if we possibly can. That's the next question. How do we treat? What is involved with the treatment here? Well, actually, what we're using are appliances, devices that you wear in the mouth. Like um, a retainer. It looks like a retainer. Um, absolutely looks like a retainer. The great thing is that you don't wear it during the day. Right. Late afternoon, early evening, at nighttime when you're sleeping. Right. It comes out when you're eating. It comes out during the day. No one needs to know that you're actually in therapy. And as I said, it's a pain-free procedure, so over a period of time, right. you'll get some dramatic results. Non-surgical, pain-free. Correct. You want to wear this appliance in the neighborhood of 12 to 16 hours a day, but Correct. A, a day night, but not mm. while you're working or, or at school, something like that. Correct, yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, and then, how does this differ from regular braces or from a regular sleep apnea appliance uh, that, that you hear about, a dental sleep apnea type appliance? How is this different than those things? Well, the bottom line is we're trying to address the underlying cause of the condition. Why are those teeth crooked? Right. Why do you have this snoring or sleep apnea? What's the underlying cause of it? That's what we're trying to address. And so that's the kind of difference in our approach that we're taking. And we're taking a slightly more broader approach. Mm. So we're saying we're looking at the oral health, the facial appearance, and the systemic you know, bodily health that goes with it. Rather than confine ourselves to one small region, we're looking at the impact on the entire body. It's almost like treating the, the real root of the problem instead of just the symptoms. Correct. Crooked teeth, seen many uh, orthodontists straighten teeth, but yet the jaws are still so narrow Correct. that there's not room for the tongue and the airway and, and you have sleep apnea and breathing problems. Right. So, uh, okay, so it's just a, a more comprehensive type. Absolutely. Answer, full long-term answer as opposed to a short-term or more short-term type of uh, uh, treatment of the of the symptoms. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. um, where do we get treatment? Well, there's a broad range of providers in the U.S. Most uh, states will have at least one, maybe more than that, uh, in terms of dentists who can provide this treatment. Right. And so typically we'll go to uh, our website and find a certified provider. Okay. And then, you know, we'll be able to find someone who's local or, you know, within the state that can help you out. That, that's been trained to, to provide this service. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what kind of percentage success do you have on helping people with the, the crowding of their teeth, mm. these facial aesthetics, the gummy smile, that type of thing, mm. sleep apnea? What, what type of, uh, what's your success rate? Well, the success rate really depends on three different factors. Okay. The first one is to get a really good working diagnosis. So we know what it is that we're treating before we even start. So the dentist is going to really be careful with that, and thorough, very thorough Correct. with the diagnosis. Correct. Probably more thorough than you've ever been diagnosed before. Right. Because you want to treat it correctly. Okay, yeah. what else? And that might be done in conjunction with a medical professional, such as a sleep specialist or a sleep right. test. So the second part, of course, and the big one is uh, patient compliance. Now, the more you wear the appliance, the better off you're going to be. Right. The better the, you know, trip, it's going to work better for you. So that's the big one. So if you're wearing it 16 hours, you know, late afternoon, early evening, all night, you're going to wear that in the evenings or the weekends, you're going to get a great response. Great result. Mm -hmm. And the less you wear it, the less effective it's going to be because you're actually helping the body to help itself and it, it involves prolonged wear. So that's the second and major factor is really having the appliance on board with you mm -hmm. and really kind of staying with the instructions that you get from your dentist, okay? Mm -hmm. And the third uh, aspect, of course, is going to the dentist on a, on a regular routine basis, mm -hmm. having the adjustments done, following the, uh, the guidance and the, and the lead and the instructions from the dentist. That's okay. the third part. Okay. And between us, you know, we can get this thing done. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, I noticed that uh, I've been to three of your seminars now, mm -hmm. and every dentist at the seminars, once they understand the value, mm -hmm. every single dentist at every seminar I've been to gets one of these appliances and fixes their own problems with Dr. Singh's appliances. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's, it's been very impressive to me to see that, Thank you. including myself. Okay. <laughs> I have the DNA right. appliances too. <laughs> right. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, so where would we, is there anything else that you'd like to mention before we close here? Well, you know, where did this idea come from? You know, and we spent 10, 15 years of research. 
and most of this has been published in the medical dental orthodontic journals. Right. And you know, we go through the, all the regulatory requirements like the FDA, right. so we are registered with the FDA and we try to do things you know, the best way we can to achieve a high level of excellence. That's really what we're about. Very research based. Where do we find mm. more information? Where do we find this website, the practitioners that can treat us? And where do we get, get this type of thing? It's quite simple. The website is called dnaappliance.com. Okay. It's one word, dnaandappliance.com. All right. And there you can find a certified provider. You can get the research publications. You can get more information about what we do and how we do it. David, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Okay. Mm -hmm.